DD214 Gaming Podcast is for mature audiences only. Any videos, music, or entertainment not originating from DD214 Gaming is used and covered under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976, also known as Fair Use. Opinions expressed are our own and do not represent any DOD or U.S. government entities as a whole. This podcast is for entertainment purposes only. Viewer and listener discretion is advised. You are no longer alone now, because we have you. And we're back. What's going on, boys? Oh boy, what's going on, everybody? We got Brandon Cleary up up in the house here already. What's up, man? Live from the Clean Sanchez Studio in Apollo City, a town that doesn't even exist. From Kansas hey, City himself, the Blood Eagle, Jay Campbell. Thank you. It's good to fucking see you guys, dude. Yeah. And the Master okay. Squid, okay. and the Master Squid himself. Joe Squilly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's let's not piss off the big D here. Listen, we're back. We're back live. It's exciting. How how you guys feeling, man? Doing okay. Doing pretty good. I'm freaking uh, in uh, in a in a semi semi good uh, spirits this morning, right? Like can't can't be all the way fucking good, but I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Fucking what, what was he gonna say, Joe? Sorry, I cut you off. I mean, it's it's the first week of the fucking new year or end of the first week of the fucking new year. Right. So right. so far, I feel like it's going good. However, it's going just the enough. first fucking week. <laughs> yeah, it's going, it's going good. And I'm like, what was that? You remember that? What was that uh, Ninja Turtles back then? It's like, it's a little, it's quiet, a little too quiet. And they said something like, is, yeah. is that, is that Raph? Yeah, a little too Raph. You know, do you remember that fucking part? You know, where it's like, oh shit, it's a little too, like, a little too quiet right now. I'm sorry, it was, yeah, it was. It's like when you're when you're when, when you're rolling up in in the village, like, and and it's like you're like surrounded with like mud huts and stuff, and it's just a little bit too quiet. Like, you know, you ain't nobody fucking, walking around on the fucking streets. Fucking Everything's just dead. Yeah, and it's like, oh fuck, we're about to get hammered. John, do you John, do you have the do you have the do you have the music to uh, my roadhouse? Like, it's like when you roll up when you roll up in the building. <laughs> He got it. Yeah. Just a little too quiet and like fucking like you're like, okay, if Clint Eastwood would would, would seem at home right fucking here right now, like we should probably fucking pay attention. Right? Like everybody <laughs> fucking like keep your eyes peeled, guys. Fucking uh, hundred percent head on a fucking swivel moment at that time. <laughs> the just, moment just, ex- just expect contact. You know what I mean? The moment Clint Eastwood walks through the door, you better look away. Don't look I, at him right in the eyes. Hey man, fucking if if you're if you're inhabiting the Wild West in any regard, whether it's uh, in the present day or in the past, Westworld. Uh, what's that? Westworld. Yeah, or in like Westworld, like yeah, like just expect expect uh, expect your metal to be tested. So yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, man, man, what a what a hell of a week, yo. Oh, listen, we have to talk about something real quick. What up, Dylan? What up, Midnight Moss? What up, Frenchie? Listen, Midnight Moss now has mm -hmm. a what, six members now. What's six members? His family just went from five to six. Um, new uh, baby, new baby boy. Oh, congratulations! You know, All right. For, for OPSEC reasons, we ain't going to say the name and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah. So one a, of our what, what, what yeah. a happy time though. What a happy, what a very happy time. Like very, yep. it's a very joyful time. So good. So one of our to our team leads from DD two fourteen to yours, Midnight Moss, Dylan, Dickhead Mason. Mm. Fucking congratulations to the whole family. Hope uh, mother and baby, I'm sure, are doing well. So like, fucking congratulations on that. Like yeah, big thing. Fucking big out, thing. out, fucking standing. Good job, fucking shooting expert on the field, fucking Midnight Moss, dude. Shooting expert on Dutton. the field. Good job. Dutton. Well, since he's going to go ahead and say the fucking name. <laughs> That's his call anyways. Hey, it's not It's not yeah, our yeah, place. It's not our place. Congrats, Dylan. That's, congrats, congrats, dude. Seriously, like, absolutely. Fucking That's a merry, beautiful merry, thing. Merry, merry, merry days, dude. Merry, merry days ahead. Yeah, so man. Very, very good. So, you know, we had life this week. We almost lost two lives this week. Uh, holy shit yeah let's like yeah let's do you want to do you want to you want to start well, let's off with, let, let's start let well we'll start off with jeremy renner uh, okay. jeremy renner got into yeah. a crazy oh, thing we, we oh, almost lost the hawkeye man we almost lost the hawkeye but what but he was being a superhero as as he is in the movies and yep. he was helping out a neighbor who was who, who was he trapped or something like that yeah. and his car yeah. was stuck he was just trying yeah. to get the snow out from around his neighbor's car so his neighbor could get out and yeah, and from what I now I don't, so I don't understand what happened. Was he crushed by the vehicle? Wait, I no, um, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I his don't know his really... snow plow started moving, and he got stuck by his snow plow. So he had got off the snow plow to do something, and he was between the snow plow and I guess the other vehicle that was kind of blocked yeah. in, and it kind of rolled on top of them yeah it's almost kind of like how we lost uh, i don't know if you're familiar with the actor anton yelchin who uh who passed away a couple years ago of some similar action where the car crushed him in his uh in between a pillar at his home and then we almost lost uh what uh what uh mr hamlin this week you you want to talk about that real quick jay yeah um give me a second sorry um so yeah so we were we were having a, we were having a, uh, me and Nikki were kind of having a, just a real short nightcap. Uh, you know, went out, went out for maybe an hour or two, uh, went out for maybe an hour or two on Monday night. Game happened to be on, you know, uh, you know, we were out at about the time the game, you know, started. So the game started, mm -hmm. you know, the Bengals went up seven points, you know, real quick. Uh, Bills followed with a, a field goal, I believe. And then this play happened and all of a sudden, you know they're cut away from commercials, so it was really it was really easy to miss miss it when it happened, right? Like when when it initial when the game initially stopped, looked, looked like a normal hit. It looked not even beyond a normal hit. Like it was like they didn't even really know what to do. Like it was it went it cut to commercial so quick. I didn't realize. I don't think very many people were even watching live realized like what was going on or that that, that there was even a fucking injury. It just went to commercials, and yeah. then, and then when they came back from commercial you saw like both fucking teams on the field like surrounding the in like what 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 would amount to it looks like a football injury yep and i was like wait a minute what the like what the fuck happened here so i like pulled my phone out real quick and because you know there's like other places you always can play by plays play by plays yeah, and everything like, there's, there's yeah a couple of websites. twitter yeah fucking reddit you know what i mean like where you've got people commenting in in real time you know Sometimes even people that are like present and there, you know, you know, physically, physically present, you know, say at the game. Yep. And all of a sudden I realized like they're doing, they're doing CPR on a motherfucker, like on the field. And like, and then, and then the goddamn, uh, the, I want to say the fucking cameraman did a really good job that night. I was glad they didn't focus on a lot of the players, but when they caught the players and you saw the expressions on their faces, like you don't see those expressions except on people that mm -hmm. think they just watched somebody fucking die. Which yeah. basically, like, which basically, that's like, what happened? That's basically a what. A, that's basically what happened because you only do CPR on somebody if their fucking heart stopped. If your heart stopped, yep, that, yep. you're functionally dead. Like, and so, yeah. Long story. Long story short, 
you know, after, uh, after, after last year, you know, <clears throat> I don't want to get, I don't want to get uh, too personal or too really anything right now, but I had some stuff happen in my life last year where, you know, I, I, the, the wounds are still, some of the wounds are still fresh. Right. And watching, you know, this happen kind of in real time and, and live, you know, when they, they, they got him off the field, you know, the ambulance finally drove away. There was about 10, 10, 20 minutes. And there was some talk of whether or not they were, they might, they might still play. And then all, and then it was pretty much understood that like the game was, the game was fucking off at least, at least, at least for that particular Monday night. Yeah. So let's, let's flip the coin. And let's get to the positive shit. You know what I mean? Because it's it's like, I'm not gonna lie. Like I was really fucking rooting for that kid to fucking make it. Yeah, and, and to pull well, through like that. It, it was really like th- those kinds of uh, accidents or occurrences are so rare. But when they happen, it's 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 devastating. And and oftentimes, oftentimes, people don't make it out. Uh, I had a I have a I have a, a yeah. good buddy of mine from from high school who was a, a Marine. Uh, he's got, a, I believe at least two or three deployments, if I'm not mistaken. And he, he, uh, ended up, uh, as a EOD, believe it or not. Um, he did the same, like the same thing happened to him basically on a morning run that happened to that kid in, in the football, except he just, his heart stopped. And he, fortunately he made it out. Like there was, there happened to be a Navy corpsman nearby. They got, they got his heart restarted and he was in a medically induced coma for a fucking month. But he is, he's here, he's with us, he's vibrant. He's like, the only thing that changes, he has, he, the only thing that uh, changes, he has a fucking pacemaker now, right? He made it. Very lucky, very fortunate. Mm-hmm. So apparently the same with this kid. This kid woke up, uh, today's Sunday, I believe this kid officially woke up, like they announced like right two, there. two, two and a half days ago. Uh, he has, they, they took his, they took, a, they took the tube out of his throat. He has made, uh, he is, he's able to talk. Sounds like he has a lot of his uh, functionality, you know, as far as like, sounds like this kid's very, very lucky and, and holy shit. Like, were we, were we all fucking pulling for him? Like, oh my God. Like, and especially to watch that happen kind of like, you know, functionally live, it it was, you know, to a nationwide audience and then to a worldwide audience. Once, once the news got out, what happened, you know, the news went worldwide. Like most of the rest of the world doesn't really pay much attention to to American football, but American in 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 the United States, football is king. You know what I mean. So yep, yep. once once the news went worldwide, it was like there was this outpouring of fucking support for this young man and his family for both for both fucking teams that had to be there and witness this shit. It's fucking sports, it's a goddamn game. Like people aren't supposed to fucking you know. Like we kind of threw that out with the fucking the Romans and the you know the Aztecs. You know if you want to see people yeah. die in the game, you know like we'll we'll leave it to to those cultures. You know what I mean? Like that that are that are far gone. We don't need to see people fucking die for 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 a ball sport. It's just mm-hmm. a fucking game. It's just a fucking game. At the end of the day, you know, especially as veterans, as as people who have survived combat, you know what I mean? Like, I know what a fucking life is worth, and it's not worth a fucking ball sport. You know what I mean? Like, that's you know. So any anyways, f- fucking cheers, cheers to this young man and his recovery. Cheers to all the fucking people that like donated the fuck out of, like he, he picked a charity or something at the beginning of the year. And they have like the outpouring of support to his, to the, to his charity has been like, it went from like, I don't know how many thousands of dollars to like, it's like up to like seven or eight fucking million. Like, I mean, oh, it yeah. was like, that's what it, he would have wanted. Fucking a. And he asked the, the, they said one of the first questions he asked when he woke up was who, who won. He assu- he assumed that he assumed the game would not have been stopped. Uh, which, if you guys go back in history, there's a plethora of examples where the game did not stop. And it, not necessarily with just uh, something as serious as a cardiac arrest, but even with like a, a functional, like significant injury. You know, the, typically speaking, the game, you know, the game or the show always goes on, right? They, mm-hmm. this is, this, this was very, it was very unprecedented, uh, very, very unprecedented that they, they actually, they, they said, fuck it, we're not playing. They stopped the goddamn game in its tracks. John, uh, Joe, I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, it actually happened here in Kansas City when uh, there was a pay per view with the uh, WWE, and when Owen when Owen Hart passed away, yep. they they kept fucking going that night, and they knew he was fucking dead. Like they they pretty much fucking knew this kid, this cat fucking lost his life, and the w the WWE was like, we're good, and I don't I don't think they would nowadays. Nowadays I don't think they would. But back I was then, watching that I was watching that pay per view. 
Um, yeah, he was performing as the Blue Beetle that night. Or the uh, oh the the blue blazer? You mean the blue the blazer? The blue blazer that he was supposed to he Sorry was performing as the blue blazer. No, no, yeah. you're good. Thank you. And he was supposed to go against I believe it was either Jeff Jarrett or the Godfather for the Intercontinental title. Yeah. Um, it was I yeah, remember... it was during that era and yeah. And it, it happened right here in Kansas City. It was it was yeah, in Kemper, that's right. Kemper, Kemper Kemper Arena. And they and they kept going. And so like for 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 this wasn't just a football game, this was Monday night football, guys. Okay, so for those of you guys, if, what, you, if you're if you're watching this from the some biggest... point in the uh, yeah, if, if you're watching this from some point in the future, I want to remind everybody that already has you know with their short term memory loss, you know, like because the world doesn't remember shit nowadays. This was not just a regular football game. This was Monday night football. Yeah, you don't stop Monday night fucking football. It's a it's it is the juggernaut of juggernauts of fucking you know weekly sports programming for like the last fifty fucking years. Okay, we're not talking about like a short term. <laughs> You know, goddamn whatever. This is like wow. this is this was Monday night football. Joe, how does that how's it smell? How's it smell, Joe? It smells good. All right, let me get off. Let me get off of uh uh the uh Mr. Damlin. And we just want to again express the, our, our our happiness. Uh thank you to the fucking first responders. Thank you to the people around the world fucking supporting this young man. Thank you to every fucking football team, okay, for fucking keeping it classy. Okay. This was this was not the week. Even though it's like the last week of the season, and we're about to go into Sunday, uh, Sundays, you know, Sundays worth of football games. This was definitely not the week, not the week to 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 be fucking uh, a jackass, you know, like because because nothing is that important. Nothing is as important as like a life, basically, when we're when we're talking about ball sports. So good luck, good luck to everybody's teams uh, this week. Fucking cheers to his recovery. And fucking my Chiefs just locked up the number one seed last night by curb stomping the fucking Raiders. So uh, fucking, I'm happy already. So my Chiefs got a number one fucking seed. Hey Chiefs, uh, good luck. Good luck to everybody's teams today. Uh, I hope I hope to see some of you guys in the playoffs. Some of you I don't hope to see in the playoffs. Let's so. go Jets. Go Jets. Who the okay. fuck likes the Jets anymore? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Joe, I heard you. I heard you cracking. I heard you cracking something, dude. Like, I, I want to hear about this. Yeah, how are we was, gonna are we gonna get a live review here? Yeah, like, how was your how yeah. was your how was your week? Because so, you had a, you had a couple things happen this week aside from the fact that you made beer. So, like, before we go into the uh, the tech guy brewing experience, right? We're like gonna it. actually start with fucking New Year's Eve. So, this week I had had this whole fucking elaborate thing planned out where I was going to propose to my girlfriend the Monday after New Year's. Well, my girlfriend's a bit nosy and tries to be a detective, and she was catching on that something was fucking up because, obviously, I had to tell her, listen, Monday, I need you to wear really nice clothes to go to this dinner we're going to because it wasn't, you know, like going to fucking Texas Roadhouse or something. We were going to a fucking five-star like, like steakhouse. Like a yeah, we were going to a mafioso restaurant, and she started catching on. She started thinking something was up. So we're hanging out with the neighbors New Year's Eve. We're drinking, playing cards, listening to music, just fucking hang chilling. And they already knew the plan was Monday this was happening. Well, I quickly was able to fucking switch gears on the fucking plan and proposed on fucking New Year's um, Eve. Really? To her right at the stroke of midnight. So um I showed John and Jay the video that was taken of it. Pretty much, you know, we all had a shot of whatever fucking liquor we wanted, did the countdown, took our shot. She was standing right in front of me. Second, I threw my shot back, pulled that motherfucker out, dropped down. She flipped I love around. You. I, I had, love you. I had them actually play. The song she wants us to do our first dance to, which is, um, love, love you, uh, love me anyway by Pink and Chris Stapleton. Yeah, don't okay. fuck this up. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, don't let me fuck song. this. Up. Hold on. You need to me. Okay, okay. Lenny, so the boy, the boys want them want you to take them out. For a five yeah, star everybody's restaurant. asking for fucking this <laughs> five star fucking mafia steak, bro. I'm but, gonna tell you this: if it wasn't for getting fucking engaged, I would have never fucking gone there. Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was the the food's was, was, good? Was, was the, the food's say, worth the price? 
Okay. The only thing is, for the two of us, it was like four hundred bucks for two. Because it's all a la carte. It's one of those types of steakhouses where they don't even fucking have ketchup as a right. fucking dressing type of place. Right. So that's right. And yeah, well, okay. so I mean, but I know, I know, I, I know exactly where you, and I, I think, I think there's a, th- there's something to be said too. Like, we, and we've talked about it on the show before. There's something to be said when you start getting a little bit older, you know, like we're, we're, we're all, you know, heavily encroaching or already at middle age you know, here, here on this podcast. And as you start getting a little older, there's certain things that start taking a little bit more. Like if I want to go out and have an, a, a, a really solid date night, I might spend that extra money that used to be like, holy shit. Like, why would you ever spend that much money on, yeah. on a meal? Right. Every once in a while, if it, it ain't break, if it ain't breaking the bank, it's not, the, it's not the end of the world though. And, and, for, and there, for special occasions, I can justify spending that type of fucking money. Absolutely. And, and, and as adults and when, and you know, like, as you transition into the world and you start growing the fuck up, you know, like that's, you, you get to spend a little bit extra money because you fucking make a little bit extra money. That's why well, you see, right. Like that's the whole and, and point, me and right? the neighbor. We were having that conversation last week on Saturday on new year's Eve. Right. We were, you know, just talking and shit before we kind of all got together. Me and him were having a couple beers and just standing outside because it was really fucking nice weather for a change. Um, and we were talking about stuff like that. And I was like, you know, it's nice to be able to do shit like this because I'm financially stable enough to. He looked right. at me. He said, you're not fucking financially stable. I said, no, I'm not financially responsible. There's a fucking like, difference. There's a difference. There's a huge fucking difference. <laughs> Food's on the table. Bills are paid. I blow whatever fucking's left in the bank account. There's a difference. <laughs> Yeah, we, I mean, well, and we can have the whole, you know, fiscal responsibility conversation, you know, whenever we want. But the, the point is, if you have the money, if you have the money and it's not going to freaking, exactly. it's not going to kill you, sometimes you do want to splurge. You know, sometimes, sometimes that splurge is the fucking, the new game console, you know, or the, or the latest, yeah. or the latest, or the latest game. Or maybe, maybe, you know, you want to freaking go out and actually, you know, go to a, like a classy joint instead of a free, instead of like McDonald's. You know what I mean? Like that. Exactly. There's nothing wrong, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Like that's, that's part of like morale and welfare, right? Like, you know, I'm morale, a grown ass fucking man. Morale, morale, I work welfare, hard right? for my fucking, I'm a grown ass man. I work hard for my fucking money. If I want to treat my lady to a nice dinner, I'm going to treat her to a nice fucking dinner. That's, that's really all there is to it. Last yeah, but now you're treating her to some of this. No, I mean, but no, it all boils no, down. You know. She ended up. I hope you know you're never that getting shit your... was fucking loud. I hope I hope you know you're never getting your dick sucked again. Just so you know. Like <laughs> she did that night and yeah, four other you're times. Not married this week. Yet. Yeah, no, because you're not married yet, dude. Like no, that was not a foul. That was not a foul. Stop. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Joe, how was Joe? How was your week after that? Tell us about the beer. So and freaking I mean, like let, let's get into let's get into our reviews. Let's see. Week after that. It was, it was, it, it's been a good week. Um, I mean, work was fucking insane. Like always, um, outside no, of that. Absolutely. Absolutely. No surprise there. Right. No, like zero fucking surprise yeah, there. Zero fucking surprise there. But outside of that, let's see, um, yesterday, well, we ended up getting a new entertainment center for the living room and I remounted our, our TV because, mm-hmm. I have more fucking devices that needed to be plugged in to like HDMI ports and shit on the back of the TV and the old wall mount. I couldn't get to them. And then she wanted to get one of those entertainment centers with the electric fireplace in it. (laughs) So that way, because our front, our living room in our apartment gets really fucking cold because it's an old building and it's got sliding glass doors going onto our fucking patio and there's no insulation at all. So she wanted to get something like that to add an extra heat source up front during the winter, which that's fine and dandy. So put that together, had the neighbor help me remount the TV, hooked all the fucking shit back up. Um, today, once we're done with this, I've got two more pieces of fucking furniture I got to assemble. <laughs> um, redid some stuff in the office. And... Yeah, that that was pretty fucking much the week. So, but how, how, how did the gonna, beer? We're gonna, how does the beer smell? Gonna, How's it smell? 
it it smells good. I mean, it's it's got a really strong oatmeal stout. If you're into stout, because this one's an oatmeal stout, so it's more of your cold weather beers. Yep. Ooh. Definitely tastes like a stout. Okay. How is it? It's it's good. I'm actually pretty fucking surprised. Now the question is, will I keel over in about thirty to forty five minutes dead? Well, what, what you need, what you need to do, is you got to do, the, the, pr- you gotta do the blindness I'm, test. If you if you go blind in the first like five, you know, five to ten minutes, you know what I mean? Like that's that's usually it's how they, it's how they test moonshine, right? It's like as long as you don't go fucking blind. If you start if your vision starts getting fucking yeah. really fucked up, like you know, you poisoned yourself basically. So. Oh yeah. Oh, well, I mean, and the thing fun. is, this kid, this kid's so fucking idiot proof that even a grunt could fucking make this beer. Oh, this motherfucker, dude, like, because the MPs are so much fucking better. Is that what we're fucking? Are we gonna do? Is, are we gonna do this today, Joe? Are we? Are we gonna fucking <laughs> do this today? Like, did, did you did you just I, wake I, up and choose violence? Did you just wake up. Is and it choose is violence? it really a fucking episode, Jay? If me and you don't go back and forth about our fucking MOSs. <laughs> One of these days, one of these days, I have a story from the field that involves both the infantry and MPs. And one of these days, I'm going to tell it. Oh, I've got, I've got a being an MP. I've got quite a few stories that involve the infantry. Good. Then we're going to have to trade. We're going to, yeah, we'll have to swap spit. Fucking. And most day. of them end fucking, up with me putting the infantry guy in fucking handcuffs in the back of my squad car. It's a fucking Tuesday, bro. That's a fucking <laughs> Tuesday. I mean, jo- I, John, Monday, John, Tuesday, Wednesday, John, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday Saturday. Saturday. Is he even in the infantry if he doesn't get arrested? If you're in the if you're in the infantry and you don't get either A arrested or B like an article 15 like in your first like two or three years, dude, like you're really probably not living up to the stereotype. You know I was I mean? a cook you, and I got arrested, all right? I got like my, my the only arrest in my entire life came came while I was in the infantry. You know what I mean? Like surprise, fucking surprise. It's like I went fucking thir- like 35 fucking years of my life. Never, ever once had the bracelets fucking slapped on me. And the only the uh, up to this day, knock on wood, the only time it ever happened, I was in the infantry. So I, I really I can't That's fucking great. say I, I can't say Joe's wrong about that. Like, I really can't. However, hold on, Jason Gasses. Jason Gass is in the house. Freaking welcome, yeah. welcome. Good to see you guys. I see, I see a whole bunch of people like blowing up in the, on our uh, Facebook. Uh, I mean, uh, freaking comments. Thing- like, keep it up, guys. Like, it's good. It's good to see all of you. Joe, <laughs> Joe, fucking Dylan, fucking Jason Gass, yeah. freaking like Jesus Islas, fucking Midnight Moss. We see all of you in there, dude. Like, it's good to see you, brothers. It's all. It's good to have Yo, all. Yo, Jason Gass is right. right. Being the cook, both are toxic to the field. Then bang bangs protect their cooks because they're the. You know, you got that correct. Eat. Like we, yeah, like we will fuck it. We will fuck I, up. I always, Everybody, you fuck it. You fuck with fucking our our food, uh, ma- uh maintenance, like mechanics. Doc. Uh, our doc. Don't fuck with doc. Yeah, don't <laughs> fuck with doc. Like the infantry will fuck you up. Like we will fuck. We will make your. If you're in the field with us and we see you fucking with our people, like we will go out of our way to fuck with your people. You know what I yes. mean? Like out of our yeah. way, and we and we can do it. And we have done it. I got stories of shit like that where. Wasn't See, necessarily wasn't necessarily against the MPs, but like I've got stories of going out of our way to like fuck with people on the support side because they fucked the people on the support side fucked with our fucking our our specific people. So like it See, it's like it's like being a gangster and being able to like fucking like legally do something about it. You know what I mean? Like I love it. See, dude. but like, see, that's the, the thing shit. being being a combat MP because I wasn't just a little bit different than MP. It's It's a little bit different than a standard MP. Correct. Because for combat MPs, really the only difference between us and fucking 11 Bang Bangs and the infantry is we're mounted, infantry isn't. Like, that's really the big difference. We're, MPs are literally mounted infantry when we're in a fucking combat zone. Right. And, you know, I always had my cooks back, had my docs back, and had supplies back. Jow, yeah, Jow. <laughs> whoever's Fuck whoever's up. fucking doing these captions needs to. It's all the both of us. There we go. It's the both of us fucking the with the captions. Yeah, there today. we go. Joe was Joe was basically infantry, and uh, just like everybody else that wasn't infantry, right? Basically infantry. 
I don't know. I once heard that the MPs were just were just infantry with cuffs. Huh. That's actually I had my own engineers. Yeah. Engineers are just infantry with fucking explosives, and, and our artillery is just infantry with with long range guns. And Brandon Cleary says, unless you are at CAF, then you are booting Gators at the PX. I've been to CAF. I've been to fucking CAF. I, I spent a whole deployment there. I spent uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been to oh, CAF a few times. Well, let me tell you about. <laughs> well, let me tell you about my week. Other than playing Fallout seventy six with Joe Parazzi and Brandon uh-huh. Rayner, which we have, I I don't know how much money has been spent. I've what do you I mean spending money. I've spent. I thought you were I thought you're, I thought you were fucking playing a game. Yeah, yeah. I spent about close to three hundred dollars on Fallout money on this game. For what? What do you get at? What do you get for your fucking money here, dude? Curtains, clothing, housing equipment, uh, in a scrap game. kits. In a game, uh, you'd be impressed what my place looks like. Yeah, now, I'm, I'm not listen. listen. Okay, I, I literally just had a whole thing about talking to Joe about. I'm no, nope, I'm not judging. Yeah, I'm not, so I'm, I'm not. not so I'm not gonna. Okay. I'm not gonna come out here and put Joe Parazzi and Brandon Weiner on on blast because they spent money on it too. I'm just saying. What game is oh, this again? What game Fallout, is this again? Fallout seventy six. Now listen, I've restarted the game. Clearly, from scratch with these guys. Restarted the game. How does and it, I've spent? How do you? Spend... <laughs> yeah, it's a great game. It's a great game. Who who collects the money for this game? Who, like, who, who, who is collecting the money? Like, who gets who gets the money that you guys are spending on this game that's been out for like ever at this point? Like, Bethesda. I, don't... I trust Bethesda. <laughs> <laughs> Do you trust Putin too? Like it's like we, 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 we would like a Christmas ceasefire as they fucking like lob fucking like missiles at fucking firehouses and shit. You know, like as it like <laughs> my man's is <laughs> God. Dude. Oh man, my man's just playing The Sims with guns. Uh, but anyway, that, that keep, the, keep, going, that, keep going. That's I'm fine, sorry. but that's that's not what this is about. My so we're gonna start off. I was uh so first off, look, I'm sorry, I'm I'm still pushing through Peaky Blinders. It's not it's not doing it for me. It, it, since, it, it can get slow. Yeah. It can get slow at times. It does. But get slow since but since you have an Andor review, I'm gonna leave my Andor review for last, and then we could segue into your stuff but perfect i like what that. the re- the reviews i do have um mm-hmm. first off drain the ocean one of the coolest shows i've ever seen on um on the national disney plus just had a major upgrade with national geographic stuff and one of and the, you know i've been watching drain the ocean drain okay. the ocean's great i just found out that after the, the after 9 11 happened they found a boat under the twin to- under the foundation of the twin towers Mm-hmm. From the Revolutionary War Dope. that belonged to the Redcoats. Huh. Yeah. You know, but and then you know, my weird ass starts thinking, oh, it's fucking ghosts now. You know, there's there's always been ghosts at the World Trade Center, but that, that's neither here nor there. Um mm-hmm. very interesting stuff that you learn, especially that you find out that Manhattan was pushed out, was pushed out to become what it is today. Uh, they also got the Bermuda Triangle, Alcatraz. They got a whole bunch of great stuff going on. I am mm-hmm. scared of ghosts. I am. I am not front <laughs> on that. Yeah, if I you believe, not, if, you, if you believe in them, I mean, I guess maybe you I should do. be scared of them. Maybe you should be scared I, of them. I dude. do. I do. So I'm surprised you made it out of Missouri, dude. There's so many fucking ghosts. If if if, if ghosts are real, Missouri is fucking chock full, dude. Okay, <laughs> like <laughs> you should have seen me in Alabama. I was shitting my pants. <laughs> They call, they, call it, they call this here the old country, okay? Like, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty good. So I also started watching this thing on Disney Plus called Generation YouTube, which breaks okay. down the, the, the history of the platform itself and how okay. – So Tell me about get, this. So this is going to get kind – this is going to get it's, – it's all over the place, right? Uh, but it talks about that YouTube, when it first started, was a dating site. Before it was a video, did not know that. Yeah, did it was. Not, they, did not yeah. know that. Uh, crazy, right? They thought that a little bit. A little bit. They, they thought that in putting your video on a website to it was kind of like Tinder with video. That's what that's what they were going for, right? And okay. so it didn't it didn't work, obviously. So then they came up, you know, with the YouTube algorithm. They started working on all this stuff, and the idea and the idea was there, and it goes on. But the idea was that just to share home movies, right? 
to share home movies. And then it talks about how guys like Justin Bieber, okay? Yeah. I found through YouTube and how Justin Bieber broke the barrier for gatekeepers in the music industry for them not to look for someone that was, yep, <laughs> yep, it did. You know, and how it helped a guy like Justin Bieber pave the way for other uh, artists and content creators to break through the uh, gatekeeping. And yeah. are, you a, are, you a, are, you, are you a believer, John? No. no are no. you a believer? No. Sorry. Joe? Joe, are you are you not no. a believer? No. You guys aren't believers? Wow. He's a little fucking prick. The fuck? He's a, he's a, he's a, okay, look, just, Okay. Everybody has to grow up, and I, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, I don't, I do not fucking, I do not fucking envy that kid for how much, like, like in the spotlight he has had to be like the majority of his life at this point. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I do not envy him oh, yeah. one bit. Like, like I mean, you know, I mean, here's here's my whole thing. When you put somebody into the spotlight as you right. get Bieber, at this point, and you know, watching the child actors I watched growing up on Disney and Nick and all that stuff. Right. And seeing the different routes some of these actor actors and actresses have taken. It's like, honestly, it doesn't surprise me when they turn into a total fucking douchebag. Well, right. Because, because they were thrown like... into the spotlight so fucking early before they were really mature enough to handle the fucking fame. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did like, you know, has, has it, has it been so long since we've already forgotten like, you know, Michael Jackson? You know what I mean? Like, uh, like I mean, like example, the, like, fu- like the, he is the fucking he is Michael Jackson is the example of like you know you got, got you know for every success story like Kurt Russell like a lot of people don't know that Kurt Russell started off as a child star also mm-hmm. working for Disney you fucking fucks you fucks right All right like like but but like shockingly like that's gonna I'm sorry John we didn't mean to freaking uh. You know, we ran. No, no, no. I mean, no, but people. look what happened. You saw that guy who threw that shit at my face? Yeah, what a fuck. What a fuck. Not like, that. I, ho- I really hope that security fucking took care of that asshole, okay? We, we don't do shit we like that dude, here in like, the fucking studio. We don't, not like, in the fucking studios. We don't, yeah, dude, we don't, we don't act like a bunch <laughs> of fucks, dude. Like, I, I'm not going to come into your fucking establishment and fuck around with you while, while, while you're fucking doing whatever you're doing live. How right? rude. Like, How rude. Just fucking, it's uncalled for. It is very uncalled for life. Just because, and just because, for life. Just because you don't like fucking something, like whether it's Justin Bieber or whatever, like that, you know, that's kind of why I empathize with him a little bit because that's how we got into the Michael Jackson conversation. Because I can't it, believe these people, man. I can't, I can't blame somebody for being a fuck if they've been surrounded by fucks their whole life. Does that yeah. make sense? Like, how, how, how are you going to blame, how are you going to blame a motherfucker that grew up, grew up surrounded by fucks for being a fuck? Absolutely. And oh, yeah. um, just, throw, so, yeah. just throwing it out there. Just fucking throwing it out there. And I really you know? want to thank Midnight Moss for reminding me. Guys, yeah. Kaleidoscope is out. What's that? Ka- Kaleidoscope is a heist is a heist uh, TV show, which you can watch the episodes in any order that you want. Okay. So it's kind of a like choose your own type of show where... Yeah. They've There's... released episode one through ten or whatever, but you could watch episode ten and then go to episode two, and it's still gonna fucking make sense. Yes. So they have. Ooh, it. I, wonder, so... I wonder what it's like to do like a spiral. So like episode like freaking like five and six, and then four, and then seven. You can do that. Yeah, that'd be interesting to do like a. So spiral. they had. So they actually right. Netflix. Netflix released. The, hey, Squilini, can you pull up the what Netflix released about the the different list? Now, this is that there's different 40,000 ways that you can watch it, which is bullshit. There's over 300 ways you can watch this, okay? Um, with with watching this, <clears throat> the episodes are broken down into colors. Uh, the, the, the episodes are broken down into colors, and each color is a different timeline. 15 years ago, uh, what is it? The week after, the day of the heist. And each way makes it seem like someone else is fucking someone else over and over. What now? Which is true. Which is true. What order are you watching it on, um, Dylan? I'm curious. We'll wait. We'll wait. I'm watching it in rainbow order. Roy G. Biv. 
uh, with white being the the final episode, which the the final episode is actually the heist. Um, but yeah, you can watch you can watch it in ep- any episode order. It's got John Carlo Espo- Esposito. Holy shit. Yeah, what you got? So I'm looking at like the different ways. It's got a couple different ways. They have the usual. That I'm they have from people. The Tarantino um, version. The, the usual Tarantino suspects. version says, you know, watch it in this way. If you want to watch it as if it's the show is one long Quentin Tarantino film, that might be the fucking order I go. I love Tarantino, so yeah. What's your favorite Tarantino movie? Ah, oh, fuck. Way to Find put me in the goddamn dogs. spot. I mean, if I mean, well, I mean, I've been, I have, a, I, 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 I've enjoyed a, just a few more years than you guys on this earth, but I was, you know, I was a very, very early Tarantino aficionado, so I, I'm always curious when I hear. Doesn't matter what the age is, like when somebody says they like Tarantino, like which one's your favorite? Mine has always been Reservoir Dogs. Pulp good Fiction. You, good for good for you, Joe. Like Jesus, both very fucking solid picks. I, and you know what? The one thing that I really I did, loved about Reservoir Dogs is that the cast was just so solid. Well, that that's kind of my thing with Pulp Fiction. I mean, Pulp Fiction had a really solid cast to it also. Who would have, who would have ever thought that Mr. Orange was the cop? I mean... As it, the, the movie's been like, out for like, like 30 years, guys. If you haven't watched it by now, Jesus Dude, you're Christ. talking like... You're talking like... Um, you're talking like... That's when cops started playing like really fucking dirty. Yeah, you know, like, like you know when you when you watch a movie like The Departed, you know, where like it's the whole movie is it shows. I love fucking, that movie. It shows DiCaprio just being a rat fucking a rat fuck in a in a criminal organization, and he's a cop. You know, like he's like he's like kind of you know like it's like no one you know like I, I don't know I don't want to get too far into the um, no no yeah 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 you know pl- you know like yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you know, my yeah, my my okay. So my lat. Did I play anything else this week? Um, no. Uh, no, I didn't play anything else. Um, Andor. Um, guys, I don't like Andor. Review over. On to you, Jay. <laughs> oh no! What is that? That's your review. <laughs> that's your review of Andor. Like, wait, I, wait, I'm wait, not, wait, I'm wait. Ready, I, as I'm getting ready to go. Okay. Into it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have to wait. We're gonna circle back to that entire fucking statement, John. Well, I need might, to Jay? finish it. I, uh, well, Jay? well, here, here's the thing. My review is not going to be much fucking better. So if you if you got if you got something to ask John, fucking, I want to hear I want to hear what you say about it because like my review ain't going to be fucking. I I really hope people weren't expecting me to like. I know oh, I, I'm it, expecting you to tear it apart. Oh, I'm going to. Oh, I'm fucking going to because th- like this shit reminded me of fucking the goddamn Batman. Like that fucking pile of fucking fucking trash. <sighs> that giant. No, that giant. That giant no. shit. That giant shit. The DC, right, well, DC it, took into everybody's it, mouth it, it last bad. spring. Like Andor, Andor is like Andor is like this fucking Disney. Like it's it's like Disney, like just squatted over your mouth and and shit Star Wars down your throat and like and expected okay. you to like it. And the fucking viewing audience and the viewing audience is calling it like the best Star Wars fucking ever. And I'm like, holy so, fuck! I didn't get into it until like season or like episode fucking ten out of twelve. Like what a fucking colossal pile of shit. This fucking so movie here's was. this fucking series is garbage, dude. Garbage. Here's, here's the way. Here's the way. Uh, now we've gotten Jay's review of it. Also, it fucking suck. Um, it fucking suck. I, I was I was literally about to give a three of ten. Like flaccid, fucking like uh, like gum. Like trying to use like, trying to use a gummy worm dick to to to, to so, fuck to, to fuck a god. Oh, I was gonna I was right? gonna be much. So nicer. here's here's the like, thing. Pile of shit. For for, for pile of me, shit. I'm I'm. Mis- is so into the Star Wars expanded universe. You mean the Disney Star Wars expanded universe? Like no, the, Disney the Star Wars. The, the universe. Star Wars no, no, there's the a there's a whole the corporate the corporate expanded universe. Everybody, no, this is the no, 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 that's not what he's talking about. I don't care. I mean, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. Stuff. He's talking about I, the books. I'm talking yeah, know, about the books and the stuff that Disney has already said they're not considering part of their universe. Yeah, the real the real bullshit. timeline. Because the real timeline, which is the books and then the original, the the prequels and then the original trilogy, Luke has so a daughter. One through fucking, yeah. Well, we'll we'll get into all that. Like but Leia, has, Leia has twins, and yeah. Literally, 
Disney is fucked up so much about Star Wars. Yep. Um, now Andor, the thing I liked about Andor Piece is of shit. Piece of shit. What is that? It was more of a detective of shit. spy fucking type of show. However, I feel that for people that only have watched the Star Wars movies and haven't dove into the books and dove into the back end lore and all of the other stuff within the Star Wars expanded universe, the show comes off as a piece of shit. Because even even the misses, she thought the show was crap. Yeah. It, it, it is. That's because it fucking is. And I don't know who the fuck so, are giving. I don't know who the fuck are giving like these raving reviews and calling it like the best Star Wars ever. It was a oh, piece of shit. It was literally by far. I, I, I by can't far, believe I, I will, I can't believe I wasted 12 hours of my fucking life. The Bad Batch. Like, it was is, horrible. The fucking Bad Batch horrible. is like 300 times better than this. But I will say, this is the reason why so, I didn't like Andor. It's because I don't think it does anything for the Star Wars universe except for Rogue One. Here's and, here's my thing. I, I would have I loved Andor if they had chopped off the first like nine episodes and done like a little like five minute recap just to catch me up on the story and show like not even the last the last three episodes, maybe like the last like one and a half episodes, and just so, wrap it up because like that was what it was worth. It was worth like about two hours of the fucking twelve that we watched. It was garbage. It was a waste of time. Anybody anybody saying that this is like the best Star Wars is like a corporate sucker of Satan's cock. I just want to like warn you guys that these demons are out there. They're trying to tell you what to like and what not to like. If you're an actual Star Wars fan, Andor fucking sucks. It fucking so, sucked. I'll Dick be the first to for say. fucking money. Okay, it, it, until like Andor trying to whore you out. Disney fucking sucks. Disney uh, fucking sucks. Sorry, go, right. sorry. I'm until take, Andor, I'm my my three least favorite sucks. Star Wars shows slash movies of all time, in order from three to one. <laughs> Episode one. Episode fucking one. It's number three. Rise of Skywalker was number two. And then I hate to fucking say it. Book of Boba Fett. You're fired. No, no, no. Listen to my reasoning on this. Listen to my reasoning on this. Book of Boba Fett was supposed to be Boba Fett's show. By the second fucking episode, it turned into Mandalorian Season 2.1. Okay, I could see your reasoning, and I could, I could, I will allow this. I will allow this. Just because it's like but a, a now, now, yeah, Book of Boba Fett is off my fucking least favorite list, and I will put Andor Andor in the number one slot because yes, it's nice to get these backstory shows on some of the characters that have shown up in the movies. However, the way they went about giving us Andor's fucking backstory was a crock of shit. Thank you. It was just like you; they literally could have done that in like. A movie or like two episodes. I, I wouldn't want to see a movie did, about that. I, I I think what I, I wouldn't have wanted to see a movie. Dude, but the see, whole, here's the, the thing: whole, being the somebody thing that's of, his him in prison. Like, what was that? Like three fucking episodes, three or four fucking entire episodes. Where this, like, fuck, dude, fuck that whole fucking story, dude. Yeah. Fuck. Andor. Well, what do we got? What do we got? Andor. Next? What that was like that next? was the worst shit I have wasted my time on in so long. Maybe maybe going back to last year and fucking spending three hours in a theater. With a bunch of money that I wasted on fucking Batman and the fucking giant shit that DC no, fucking took down no. my fucking throat. So, no. so like, fuck. No, and this please, is where no. this is where Jay's about to get disappointed because this week in DC news, yeah, Joker, the got new pregnant. DC universe, I the new saw DC that. universe, I don't is going to be this. based off of the Matt Reeves Batman universe. So okay. the new okay that. movies that we're going to get. We're going to get a new actor for Superman. We're going to get a new actor for all these characters. Except fucking Batman. We're okay. going to keep Robert Pattinson as second. fucking Batman. <laughs> I'm okay with this, but wait, Jade, stop a second. Stop dude, a second. Dude, 
<coughs> can we stop? Can we retrace back real quick and talk about why the fuck Joker is pregnant in the comics right now? <laughs> <laughs> and, because, and, and, because, because nobody has any nobody has an original idea in their fucking head I, anymore. I'm really I'm trying like, to because I saw that this morning, Jay. I saw that this fucking, morning. Dude. And like you even, live in the stupidest fucking timeline ever, dude. This like, is like, like the dumbest he's shit. Pregnant. Dude. The Joker is pregnant through a like a casting witching spell oh, and then and then throws up like, what's next, Jay? What you got next? I literally, I literally, <laughs> I literally feel I literally feel like I wake up every day and just get bukkakied by fucking corporations. I be like, like nothing is fucking, nothing is sacred anymore. Like there, there is no, nobody has an original thought idea in their head. They've got, they've got money, they've got money to, to just absolutely waste, like on shows like Andor, and we've got fucking, and we, we've got like homeless people. In the fucking are you? Are you? Are you? Are you gonna live, John? Are you gonna live? Like you gonna make it, buddy? Yeah. You okay? <laughs> I don't understand shit anymore. I, I they, this is the most this is the most boring version. I could have like if I could have if you'd asked me when I was a, a you know like a, a dreamy <laughs> starry eyed child what twenty twenty three was going to be like. Okay, I cannot imagine like like this is such a boring, stupid fucking version of twenty twenty three. Like get out there and fix this shit, guys. Okay, because like <laughs> TV fucking sucks. <laughs> fucking TV sucks. Movies fucking suck. They're doing. They're like. They're, they're like flipping, flipping clown cars in the air to keep you interested. In shit. There's a fucking. They're gonna make a tenth Fast and Furious movie. I don't remember watching the first fucking nine. Like, what the fuck is going on, dude? Like, what's your What's what your the next review, fuck Jay? Is going on. I can't believe. Like, I can't. I can't believe people are are like it's, this. Like, so, like, you don't see through this shit. You don't see what it. You don't see it for what it's what it is. Like, so here's so, my thing. I, oh. I see through the corporate bullshit. Fuck. However. From a money-making standpoint, and you've got to look at it from the no, money-making no, side of no, things. No, I, I, I like art. I, I like to look at things from the art well, standpoint. Because, you know, when, when, I, when, they're, when, they're, when, when they're calling stuff art, and when they're going to tell me that this is the best Star Wars anything that's ever. And like, Oh, by the way, Andor still holds an aggregate 96 out of 100 on fucking Rotten, Rotten Tomatoes. Tell me that fucking entire fucking whatever rotten tomatoes is like as a, a company or whatever tell me that is not corrupt as fuck no, stay yeah. with me. we've got fucking three of three votes that andor sucked on this fucking podcast fucking how is it still sitting at a 96 like you guys tell me that dude like that fucking show was dog shit go ahead joe i'm sorry sorry i'm gonna mute myself no. i'm sorry i space out oh man what, what what's your next review well, here's the thing. Like we're gonna make, I, we're gonna make a rule. We will never talk about Batman or Star Wars ever again on this it's not show. About, well, see, that's the thing. It's not about Batman or Star Wars. They've made good Batman We've movies. So many fucking Star Wars games and and so many they Star just Wars suck. games coming they, out like, this year. Well, that's that's the thing. Like you know, there's there's Star Wars is still a big thing. Star Trek. I mean, for the love of God, that's still around. It, 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 there's, I'm getting bored. I can't. I hate. Yeah. I fucking like Star Trek. Like Star Trek's got good lore, but I'm sitting here like. Uh... Now, I will say, I will say with Star Trek here lately, the only thing that's kind of captivated me is the Picard series. That's on. I heard that uh, was really good. CBS All Access, just because it it gives us the okay. Picard's retired now. He's no longer with Starfleet. We get to see yeah, yeah. that side of things. Um, and the fact that they didn't fucking recast. They actually got Patrick Stewart to come back. Um, but outside of that, I mean, everything's just a fucking copy and paste in Hollywood, in fucking video games, in comic books. We hey, just, even, we're, we're not getting original content anymore. Even even if they had to replace Patrick Stewart for younger, at least they could get James McAvoy, so. <laughs> well, that's the one thing. At this point... The only actor I expect to play a young Patrick Stewart for any of the roles Patrick Stewart's played is McAvoy because his Professor X. He talks just like him. Was great. Yeah. For the younger version. So. Yeah. So what's so what's the next review you got? Well, it's not really a review. I just wanted to like, I just oh, wanted. Oh, yeah. I just wanted to put it out there. Like, John, if you want to put, put the fucking, uh, the picture that I sent to you, I just want to remind everybody. Uh, so last night, 
my 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 uh, youngest daughter uh, wanted to watch a movie, and it's a movie on Netflix. It's from 2019, and it's called uh, Tall Girl. And uh, John, if you want to get the graphic, I I never heard of it. We look, I looked at the preview. I was like, okay, we'll watch it together, you know. And so like we sat down, we watched this movie, Tall Girl. Okay, which also, by the way, is another Hollywood piece of shit. Okay, but but I would give Tall Girl a fucking much higher rating than I would give fucking season one season one of Andor. Okay, so like. I wanted to. I want to. I want to. Wanted to make make it very clear and very known that like I would rather watch a piece of shit like Tall Girl than fucking the fucking absolute colossal giant fucking turd that is fucking Andor while being told that it's the greatest thing. You're ever. weird. It's like the greatest thing to ever come from the Star Wars universe. This at least this movie Tall Girl is a little bit more self fucking aware. You know, where like the whole fucking shtick is this. You know. It's a girl is tall. Like, oh my god, the sky is fucking falling because I'm over six feet, right? Which I get, and but they made it cute. Okay, tall girl gets a fucking higher rating on GD two fourteen gaming because at least it's fucking honest and it has some moral integrity and it's not a corporate sucker of Satan's cock. Okay, like Disney can absolutely lick my ass, dude. They ruined fucking Star Wars. They ruined Marvel. And if anybody tells you different, okay, I've got a bridge to fucking sell you in fucking London. All right. I've got beach front, I've got beachfront property in Arizona. Okay. Come come see fucking Jay with your stupidity. If you think if you think Disney did not ruin fucking everything ever, okay, that they touch. And make sure you bring okay. a beer with you too. Just, hey man, in, instead of handing the corporations money, I'm gonna set up a fucking PayPal. And every time you want to make a dumbass fucking donation to these giant corporate suckers of Satan's cock, dude, just fucking send me send me the money you would spend on the fucking corporation. Please. Okay, because if you're that stupid that you're not getting taken to the fuck down the road and, and like they're just they're literally here fleecing you like sheep. Please, please like, give Jay the money so I could finally get paid for this. Or at least yeah, or at least fucking get, get you know, get me out get me out of your face. Like these movies suck, these TV shows suck, Marvel sucks now. Okay, I'm not I'm not interested in a single fucking thing Marvel has to offer for like I don't know when. Okay, I don't know how long it's gonna be down the road. Same with Star Wars. This is why I don't fucking watch shit anymore. And a lot of times this is why we I've, I've actually like held back on reviewing stuff like this many times. And me and John have talked about it mm-hmm. because I never have anything good to say about it. Like this, this well, the, the kind of content they're putting out right now is exactly what turns me into a jaded, cynical asshole. Cause it's so, it is so plain to see. Go ahead, Joe. So I can shut the fuck up. Well, Go ahead. see, and, th- and that's the thing is, you know, I, looking back over the last 23 fucking years now, the best content that came out of any of these Star Wars franchise, early 2000s. DC, the Arrowverse on CW, better than any of the fucking DC movies they've put out. Which one was that? Arrow? Arrowverse, so Arrow, Flash, the Flash. Um, I Supergirl. Birds of Prey. Was that, what, was, that, was, that was, was that on like the WB or something? Like one of those like CW, CW. when WB switched over to CW. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. But that's because with those shows, you're actually getting development because it's not just we're going to give you this character that unless you're a comic book fan, you've never heard of. Right. Throw them into a fucking movie for two hours and then that's it. And expect you, yeah, and expect you to pay your fucking money for it, right? Like that's basically where with with those shows we got the character development. We got to see from when they became who and the they Net- are all the way through. The Netflix, the some of the Netflix Marvel shows were a lot more compelling the- than than like you know like John John tried to get me into fucking Loki. And I was like, I, I got like, what, what did I say, John? Like an episode and a half, maybe two episodes in. And I was like, this is garbage. Mm-hmm. Fuck this show. And that had, that had only... all the start, that all the, all the star power, all the talent, the writing was there. And I was like, nah, I'm good. I, I really don't need to finish this shit. Like I'd rather watch the Netflix fucking, you know, uh, what was it? Jessica Jones, you know, the first Jessica Jones, the, Luke you know, Cage, um, Daredevil, you know, Punisher. Daredevil and Punisher. Yeah. I was like, at least Netflix gave a fuck about what, you know, when once Disney came on the board, only, it was like, this is like, this the is only crack, Netflix Marvel crack. show that, in my opinion, was a flop was fucking Iron Fist. I never, uh, I, also never watched, I also never watched that. So I don't I, think, yeah. Luke, I, mean, I don't um, think Luke Cage was that good. I did not think that Jessica Jones was that good. I thought Daredevil and Punisher were the it material. 
I will I, say I Daredevil with that. because I, so I, Daredevil kind of started it. Jones. Season yeah. one of Jessica Jones wasn't terrible, but I would say Dare, the most compelling was probably Daredevil and Punisher. Yeah, yeah. but you, you ain't gonna see that shit in fucking Disney. Okay, uh, hope, hope no, y'all fucking no, no. It, it's it's coming. They've confirmed oh, 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 it. Is it? Oh, is it? Like they like they told us the last ten times they told us fucking shit was coming. Is it coming? Um, is it coming this time? Well, or am I just getting buka- or am I just getting fucking bukkakied on while they fucking so, like rip my wallet out of my pocket? You know what I mean? I, like, so bukkake, just bukkake, just taking when, dick when the they do when they do release Daredevil: Board Again, which is Charlie Cox coming back as Daredevil, the same actor from the Netflix shows. I will give it a chance if after three episodes it is not as good as the first couple seasons we got on fucking Netflix. I'm writing it off. Well, Netflix is good, except for the fact that they just fucking canceled 1899, which I'm super I'll, fucking pissed about. I was going to say, uh, tell us about that. Freaking. Well, the show, the show's over. There's a hundred unanswered questions, and the show's canceled. The show is fucking canceled, okay? It makes no sense to me. I just watched a documentary about this thing called The Volume. And what The Volume mm-hmm. is, it's the same thing that they used for The Mandalorian, Except it's smaller. It's in a it's in a room, and the whole room has screens all over it. So without green screens like the ones that you see, like the ones that you see behind me, they don't need the green screen anymore. So it's easier for editors just to cut things out, you know. So the way that they, in one point, one of the actresses said that the 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 volume was so good that they actually got seasick. Like, li- That's like, entirely possible. Like, aud- auditory signals can throw, yeah. your balance, can throw your balance off. There's and we're talking, wavelength, we're talking, certain wavelengths yeah. will freaking make you uh, nauseous. Like, well, and that, that, that's entirely that's, possible. That's so kind of put, the same concept as uh, VR sickness when you get motion mm-hmm. sickness when you're mm-hmm. playing VR games. Mm-hmm. And they it's, used it's VR, that. they used VR to develop the, they used VR to develop the, the show too. I'm going to show you guys something real quick. Perfect. I'm about to show show it to you. This yeah, is we, the. It's not hard. Now, to, it's not hard to trick and, our brains. It's really not now, hard to trick our and brains. And now the reason. And now the reason why, like I'm talking about this, it's because like the show got canceled. There was so much passion. Like, look at this thing. I was There's, in something like I was in something like that in the army, except we were like. You know, it was like shooting at a screen, basically. You know, like, yeah. like doing training. Oh yeah, for, exactly. Uh, it's it's the exact same. Or, or like the the Humvee uh, rollover training. How it's yep a fucking Humvee body on a fucking motor. Yep, and it swings around and yeah. Mm-hmm. And well, you've yep, got yeah. screens all around to make it seem like you're actually going through. Correct. Yeah. So there's rollover, so there rollover, it is. rollover. So here right. it is, half built. So you see, mm-hmm. it has this U formation here. And it has the screen on top as well to help with other landscapes. Yeah, and now, lighting and lighting and freaking yeah, that would make now, that make perfect fucking sense. Now what? Now what was really crazy about the lighting about the show? They used fire. They used fire. They didn't use LEDs. They didn't use barn barn door fucking. Um, what show was this for? Eighteen ninety nine. Mm-hmm. And it just got canceled. It got and it got canceled. And I don't know if it was because guess, of guess all budget. that shit didn't help, did it? <laughs> yeah. And you want to know something fucked up too? The show got the show got great reviews, right? It got great praise yep. from fans. Even the cast themselves, like they were so eager to come back, and it's all over. But oh no! Oh, whatever will we do? Another fucking corporate fucking money. And and and, and the the creator said we wanted to do with this show what we wanted to do with Dark, which we have high praise for that show. Absolutely. And now- well, you know, here's here's the thing: when when they when they when they mix art with money, okay, like you're just at, at the end of the day, you're just not going to get my money. Like that, like that's what it comes down to. I'd rather yeah. I'd rather watch every I'd rather watch every childhood fucking childhood you know happy memory of that i have of like different things like comic books and star wars i'd rather watch all of them burn than continue watching people freaking like just feast on the freaking rotten flesh of like a dead a, a dead genre because yep. the corporate the corporations fucking ruined them fucking yep. ruined mm-hmm. them dude like so i'm sorry to, to 1899 and its fans i'm sorry but not fucking surprised 
because like it, it does seem like anything that anything that res- resembles actual art these days gets kicked out before fucking the dog shit turd that Scarlett Johansson is fucking like shitting in your throat and calling it fucking Black Widow, Jesus right? Like, Christ. you know, yeah, I, I'd watch fucking Black Widow too. Because I fucking care about the fucking character Black Widow, right? No, the fuck I don't. I'm there because Scarlett Johansson's there. That's it. Yeah. Like, at least I'm so, fucking honest about it, right? Yep. All right. Like, so, all right. So now I'm going to give you guys the 10 most anticipated games of 2023. All right. I'm Number waiting. 10. I'm waiting, John. <laughs> Number 10. State of Decay 3. Tell us about it. So if you guys, so number two wasn't all that fantastic. Number one was a great introduction into the world of State of Decay. State of Decay is a zombie survival game where you could team up with your friends to survive. You get to build forts. You get to craft weapons, craft bullets. You get to build, you get to protect your crew of up to 30 people in a, in a fort to not die. And now with number three, there's not a lot of details coming into the game, but we know that it's coming up this year. <clears throat> it's so it's like Warcraft with zombies. Sounds like Warcraft with zombies. I would say more. It's like the Division with zombies. Is it for, is it first person shooter? Or is it? Uh, it's a it's a third third person shooter, and it will be coming to Game Pass exclusively. It is a Game Pass exclusive game, Microsoft only. I will say on um, my curios- my curiosity has peaked, but not. I don't, I'm a little sketchy on that one. Yeah, I'd so, to, I'd so, to see the review. Yeah, so so far the only thing I've seen that's a big difference is that an- zombie animals are being introduced. Mm-hmm. Oh God, that's always a fucking. That's so I, I fucking hate you know. That. Yeah. But it but it's going away from our typical zombie creatures like large monsters and stuff like that. So we're tra- we're tra- I guess they're trying to go into a more realistic mode. Number nine, replaced. Replaced is a two D side scroller game about a man who gets forced to get thrown into a cyborg in Phoenix City in the future. Uh, game looks really fun. I'm personally excited for it. Okay. Number eight. Final Fantasy was it 16. Okay. Uh, Squ- Square Enix looks to be returning to its roots with Final Fantasy 16. And not only is the next entry in the long running RPG franchise ready to lean heavily into a classic fantasy setting, but it seems to be placing a larger emphasis on the Final Fantasy iconic, iconic, iconography. Hooked on phonics, baby. Hooked on phonics. <coughs> number seven. One of these days, John, you'll get there one of these days. We still love Num- you. Yep. Number seven, Marvel Spider-Man 2. I know so I know one of us is excited for this game, and that's Squilini. Uh from, so is this this is not like a remaster or nothing. This is a sequel to the game that came out, what, two years ago? So um shit. It's been been a couple years actually. Okay. Um, hold on. Let me pull up exact release date. Twenty eighteen. <laughs> So the game came out in 2018. Yo, he really is. He plays a lot of fucking Spider-Man, Jay. He plays a lot of fucking Spider-Man, yo. Every time I see him on Discord, he's playing Marvel Spider-Man. We can't hear you. We can't hear you. Wait till you come back. I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just fucking saying, okay? I, I, I'm just fucking saying. Yeah, so that should be exciting for a lot of people. Um, Diablo... <sighs> Or Diablo's three release in 2012. It's been over 10 years now that a new mainline Diablo game released. Uh, Diablo Immortal was far from a solution to the IP's lengthy break, but Diablo 4 is coming early this year to save its hardcore fan base from their drought. Meant to be a bleaker take on the Diablo experience, more akin to Diablo 2, Diablo 4 isn't just falling back to known wins and is instead building on those with new clever features and decisions. That modernized the formula. Uh, I'm pretty sure Jay's a Diablo fan. 
correct me if I'm wrong, man. Um, have you played Diablo, Jay? Uh, no. I remember. I remember when it came out. I remember Diablo two. Remember Diablo three. Like, but no, I never played it. I don't. Okay. I, don't I, I got. You know, I, I got time for like shit like that. Dude. Like, I, I played. I played like not Warcraft two. I played fucking and not World of Warcraft. I played the original fucking Warcraft like on PC back like yeah, yeah. fucking nineties. Remember in, like those, like in the I played the original Warcraft. That was about as far as I got into it, and I beat it. And I beat it with both sides. You could play as either human or or orc. You know. I played, I played, I played and beat both sides, and like that's that's about as much of a fuck as I ever gave about a lot of those types of games. Diablo is yeah. really similar. I got time to grind, dude. I ain't got time to fucking grind like yeah. that, dude. Like fuck that shit. Yeah, ahead, Num- I'm sorry. Number five is I talk about this all the time. Starfield. Starfield is number five on the list, and it is a it is probably the most anticipated Bethesda game that's being released this year. Um, next to Redfall, which is rumored to come out in April. Starfield is meant is, and we're going to talk about Starfield again one more time when we get into the news. Uh, Starfield is number five and will be a Microsoft exclusive release, guys. Starfield is rumored yep. to come out in the first half of 2023. I assume it's going to come out in March. Number four, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. This game is supposed to be full of fun, full of cursing, full of, like, off-the-wall Justice League jokes. Are we going to hear more about how Aquaman fucks dolphins? I don't know, but... Is it going to at least be better than fucking Gotham Knights? I hope so. I hope so. And no, Sylvester Stallone's not playing King Shark in the game either. Uh, Number three... Damn it! (laughs) Number three is Dead Space. Okay, uh, I know Dead Space has a large cult following. I myself have, haven't played Dead Space in a long time, but Dead Space is coming back. Resident Evil 4 for number two. Resident Evil. Again. E- Again. <laughs> yeah. Capcom has been absolutely killing it over the past couple of years with Resident Evil series, and its upcoming remake of Resident Evil 4 looks to be no different. And on top of that, there was just a remake of Code Veronica that was about to be released. Just got canceled by, by Capcom. Uh, they just completely shit on them. And the most anticipated game for the year is The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. A lot of people truly, That's truly enjoyed. That's the one enjoyed, I'm looking forward to. Yeah. A lot of people were truly excited about how Ocarina of Time was. Right? And what was the last game that came out? I'm sorry. So, so... The last one was Breath of the Wild. Breath of the Wild. So that was a launch game for the Nintendo Switch. And with the way they ended that, it's been highly anticipated for a sequel. So Tears of the Kingdom is the sequel to Breath of the Wild, what, six, seven years later now? Okay, fantastic. And that's number one on the list, guys, so... Uh, Jay, were there any games? Not so- a single one. Not a single oh. fucking one. Not interested. Fucking that list is the fucking maybe the Bethesda game, maybe, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Fucking, I, I, I'm hearing. I'm trying. See, I'm trying to calm down, and I'm about to get fucking riled up again, dude. Like, well, let's fucking- well, let's go into the news then. The state, state of the video game industry can also suck suck my fucking dick, dude. Like, boy, like I tried so hard, like to stay like happy this episode, dude, and like. Everything we're talking about is like agitating the fuck out of me, dude. Like, I heard, really I, I, didn't, I, do, I, I didn't hear, I didn't hear anything on that list that even remotely resembles a game I would give, you know, less than a fuck about playing. And to, to be, that's to begin yeah. with. That's to begin with. It can only go fucking down from there. Yeah, yeah. Like, I didn't hear a single like that. Like, that's the top ten for the whole year. Like coming up, like that's. Oh, boy. hey, hey yes. kids! Hey, kids! This is what you have to look forward to: more shit now, being shoveled down your throat. Like now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. That is yeah. still determined to be cha- that can be changed at any moment. Yeah, that's just the top ten of what's been announced so far. Yeah. However, again, like we always fucking say, the state of the video game industry has shot to shit. I want to. I, I want to hear. I want to hear what you think, Joe, about this. Like you tell. Like I'm. I'm the casual gamer that 
as, as hard as I tried to get into gaming, I can't get into it nowadays because it fucking all sucks. You know what I mean? Like, I want to hear like a take from somebody who actually plays a lot, is passionate about it. Like John, you know, we've heard from John many times. There, there's there's good games out there. I know there is. Why are they not the major games? Like, what happened? What happened to the good games being the major games? You know what I mean? Like, tell, tell, I want to so, hear about this. So, from my side, that's where. I heavily rely on Nintendo for that because okay. Nintendo, no matter what, all the other sides of the game market shoot to shit. Nintendo has always put out quality over quantity. So that's where, you know, the number one on this list being a Nintendo title yeah. makes sense because gotcha. I can they're that. not like these other game companies where every year they're trying to push out a new game and a franchise. Right. It's been seven right. years since the last brand new Zelda game. We've gotten other Zelda titles for the Switch since the Switch came out, but it's all been like remasters of other games from the Wii, Wii U, GameCube, stuff Nintendo, like that. Nintendo Switch Online classic games as well. Right. So, you know, with Nintendo, I can I can 100% say with Nintendo I'm not going to be disappointed because every time they put out a new get title in a series it's something we've been waiting for for years to happen. It's not like okay, this year we've released this game, next year we're releasing a follow-up to it. Yeah. Then the Man. next year another follow-up. They're I, I, in no way, shape, or form, am getting paid by fucking Nintendo. I'm just saying, from from a pattern standpoint, Activision disappoints every fucking year with Call of Duty at this point because it's copy and paste of the same bullshit. And as as much as I, yeah, me, yeah, me and John went around and around about how as much as I want, I wanted to enjoy the game this year. I still there's aspects of the game uh, DMZ that I do enjoy still. It's yeah, it was a copy and a paste with a little with, with, see, a, with a couple of upgrades. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, but see, that's the thing for all of the other franchises too. It's all been copy and paste lately. It's been they change one or two game mechanics, they change the graphics, they give us a little bit of a different story, but it's the same fucking thing. The only Nintendo franchise that almost every year we can expect one game from is Pokemon. Yeah. But with Pokemon, we expect, because it's always been copy and paste, they might add some new Pokemon in, change up the region you're in. Um, there's little different aspects in it. But with Pokemon, it's always the same thing. You're a Pokemon trainer. Your goal is to complete your Pokedex and get all the gym badges and complete the final fucking... Elite Four or whatever the fuck they are at this point. And that's it. I expect that from a fucking Pokemon game. When they change shit up, that's where it's a little disappointing with some of the Pokemon games. Yeah. But I expect a Pokemon game every year because it's Pokemon. It's always been that way since fucking day one. Since 1999 when Pokemon Red and Blue fucking released on the Game Boy. Absolutely. And now, uh, while while we're talking about Nintendo, we're going to segue over to our news, where February 17th, Super Nintendo World will open up in California. Okay. Uh, a lot of people are super excited about that. You want to see some pictures? I do. That sounds like a I fun wish they would open it. Super I wish they would open it somewhere besides California. Like California is kind of far, but you know what? I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Not sure if you know who so we've I am. This before. Uh, I'm this about is the to inside the mouse player. Hey, there's, hey, hey, there's wow, John. <laughs> you want to meet your browser tab or something? You're gonna, you're gonna there's a human. On that, has a mustache. Uh, just. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Not supposed to happen, actually. Yeah, that's okay. That ain't your fault. That ain't your fault. It's, it's the Super it's Mario the, Bros. trailer is playing in the fucking background over there. It's with the uh, corporate suckers of Satan's cock that want you to fucking get advertised to. Yeah. So fucking, you got you can't even get on the fucking internet anymore without getting like fucking like a face full of dick. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like so, oh my so you God. got a, so you got a whole bunch of great 
statues, great props and stuff that you could walk right in, do some of the rides, do Bowser's Challenge. Looks like you're in the fucking video game, to be honest with you. That's pretty dope. That Mario, it looks nice. It looks nice. You can like actually, it. and then the 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 biggest thing is that you could actually play Mario Kart, and where they give you like mushrooms and shit, where you could throw at people and actually <laughs> ruin their fucking game and get prizes and stuff at the end. But the thing about it is that you see, so the the Mario Kart is on one single rail, and the car is in a rail, and it spins and shit like that. So pretty okay. interesting. But Japan is the Japan is the only Super Mario World that's receiving the Donkey Kong expansion. So, so real quick, go back to that and scroll up to the top of the article. I don't know if I'm sold on this yet. Oh, I'm what the fuck? Boo! Disqualified! Disqualified! Uh Okay, down to, I want that fucking statue in my office. <laughs> can you zoom in on that? Can you, can you, can you make that bigger? It's, like if you're not on a full screen, it's a, it's a little, there we go. There we go. There it is, there you go. There. That's kind of, I mean, like, yeah, it's a cartoon dragon. It's definitely a cartoon dragon. Fucking Bowser. Yeah. It's Bowser, man. I, I oh, look know. at the detail on that. Arcane Dragon. It's like stone or something. How big? How big would that be? Like eight feet, maybe. It looks bigger. It looks huge. bigger than that. Yeah, it looks you bigger than that. How fucking heavy that would like, like a statue, Joe? Do you like? The, I, I, the can fucking you, like, shipping charges. I'm gonna have to just put that in front of my fucking apartment. I don't yeah. have to worry about anybody stealing get, that motherfucker. Like, <laughs> they can't even lift it. How are you gonna get it through the fucking door, bro? Like, where? Yeah. Where, like, so, all right. Like, so then, I'm just gonna remove a whole ass fucking wall. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna have to like build a house around it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And <laughs> in, in in next news, we have um, uh, the Last of Us will not have video game adaptations on the HBO series. Um, mm -hmm. they will also what does that be. Mean? What, wait, what does that mean? They're not following. It's an the original game. story. It's not going to be a copy of the game into a fucking TV show. So instead of taking the story from the game. Because it is a story-based fucking game. Haven't you? Are, I mean, haven't you? Are rewriting the whole fucking it? thing? I watched yeah. Chris. Bo yeah, I watched our, I, uh, you know, friend of the podcast. I watched Chris Bodet play that game like almost in its an entire, almost in a, in its entirety when it came out. And it, yeah, so why would you want to see the same story again? Well, I'm I'm curious how they're. Well, that's that's kind of why I'm like I'm. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how like. I don't know that I necessarily want to see it frame by frame, but like I don't, I don't necessarily remember a lot of what happened in the in the game itself, yeah. either. Other than like, I remember that like it, it was a very compelling story. Now, if, yeah. we're, if you're talking about like you know events that maybe like lead up to where they were in like you know when you started the video game, basically, I'm okay with that for like an episode or three. But if if you've only got like like this is going to go back to like our Andor chat. If you've only got, you know, 12 episodes in a season, if you waste more than, like, two or three on me, dude, like, I've already, like, I've already fucking, like, zoned out. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, I'm already, like, I'm out of the game. Yeah. And so even though even though I grinded it out and watched all 12 of Andor, The Last of Us, dude, will probably get, like, if I ever watch it, it'll probably get, like, an episode, maybe two out of me. Yeah. And if I'm not, if I'm not feeling it at the end of episode two, I'm probably just going to put it away. So like yeah. I, that's where I get curious, it, and it could go either way. I don't want there. Are, there are plenty of TV shows out there that capture my imagination, and I'm 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 all in. You've got my poker chips, you know. After two or three episodes, and usually yeah. I, and you and usually I go to episode three or four just in case, just yeah. to make sure that I really don't like you know whether <laughs> I like or don't like something, you know, I just to really make sure. Yeah, but, but no shit. The, you can usually tell by like episode two, episode three. You're like, yeah, if I'm not feeling it now, I'm probably just not going to get there. I probably should have – that's what I probably should have done with Andor. I probably shouldn't have even reviewed – part of the reason we finished Andor is because I wanted to review it. I really wanted I, – I wanted to like it. I was yeah. like – I was looking for something to like. 
and I maybe that's maybe that also you know put some bias in my heart as like why as, as why I got like so agitated with it because it was like I wanted to like it. Yeah. And yeah. Well, and there and there and there there were aspects of the storyline that was compelling, but you wasted twelve episodes on me, and it was like that. that it's it's literally like I just took a dick to the face. Yeah. I can't I cannot stress it enough that like Andor was like taking a dick to the face. Yeah. All right. And so be aware, guys. And while we're talking about Star Wars, still the very the very final news that we have today is that Ubisoft is working on a large scale. Star Wars, open world Star Wars game that is supposed to be similar to No Man's Sky. Now, if you're familiar with No Man's Sky, oh you could travel through planets and harvest stuff like that. And you know, let me take this one, John. I want to hear this because Jay. I, I, we need, we need an open world Star Wars game. Take it, John. Ubisoft hasn't completed a fucking game <laughs> by launch. In 15 motherfucking years, why the hell would I be excited about an open world Star Wars game coming out of fucking Ubisoft? It's gonna be fucking garbage. Or they're gonna give it the EA treatment, and there's gonna be so many fucking microtransactions <coughs> that the game's not gonna be worth it. Because I'm need? sorry, John, but unlike you with Fallout 76, I don't have I don't I don't want to have to spend three hundred fucking dollars to make the game enjoyable. And I'll still spend the three hundred dollars because I enjoy it. I mean, I just I can't get behind Ubisoft at all. The only good shit that's come out of <laughs> Ubisoft lately is the Assassin's Creed franchise game. Yeah. So they just need to fucking stop. Fucking don't creep, even fucking bro. try. Let that fucking anger fucking flow through you, bro. <laughs> well, I'll be the fucking that positive hate. guy here. We that need hate. a Star Wars open world game. It's about time. Let's make it happen. And now for the final thought, which I think it's I think it's me this week. It is. It is. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna be fucking blunt with you guys. Stop being a fucking asshole, all right? We lost another one this week. Oh, God. We lost another one this week, all right? There should be no reason why this continuously happens every single fucking day. On New Year's. On New Year's. This is not how you start the fucking New Year. This is not how you end the old year. Just You keep pushing on. You answer your phone. You call somebody. Mm -hmm. You dial the number that's coming up right under us and i'm sorry i'm being a little fucking a a you know aggressive here but guys come on there's 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 so many different ways your time is your when your time is up it is not your decision it's whatever you believe in whatever whatever time structure that you're part of when that time says it's your time it's your time you don't make that decision because we're here to help you that National Suicide Hotline is star 988, guys. Star 988. There is someone there ready to talk to you right now. Hell, I'll go on a three-way call with you. I'm sure Scolini and Jay wouldn't mind either. We don't even need to talk. We'll just listen. You don't want to go there alone? We'll be right there for you, all right? Correct. Guys, star 988, mm -hmm. okay? This is happening way too much. Way too much. Okay? And some funerals... You know, depending where you are, because th this here's the thing, guys. Here's here's the thing. In the army, we are one percent, but in that one percent, we are so spread out. I don't want to come to a I don't want to come to a funeral, man. I don't want to do it, man. I want to remember you alive, breathing. I want to sit next to you and have a cream soda and a slice of pizza. I don't want to knock on your coffin, man. Guys. You're not alone. You're not fucking alone. Real shit. Star 988, guys. Guys, it's been another week. I want to thank you guys. We're, we're back live. We are. We are creeping, creeping into ever episode so, 100. Ever so steadily. Ever so st steadily. We're, we're no. getting and Eight I'm more it, fucking episodes. Yeah, and I, and I have a surprise. 
for you guys. Actually, yeah. if everything works out, maybe five of them. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna, you know, we're gonna we're gonna get this going. We're gonna have a good time, guys. Uh, Jay, do you want to tell the guys something about comments and how and how we should, you know, take suggestions well, and stuff? Yeah, like that? I yes, because I think I think there's been a little bit, especially with with how long our podcast has been going, with how many. I know I know we don't get a lot of live viewership, but we do get a lot of viewership from a, uh, again, like almost like John was just talking about from a very widespread area. Okay. I think, mm -hmm. I think one of the, I wouldn't call it a problem. I would say it's, it's one of the, one of the, the walls that we keep running into is that we're not getting a lot of feedback. Okay. So whether it's, whether it's, whether you come here by virtue of YouTube, uh, Spotify or one of the other, uh, streaming services. Yeah. Okay. Uh, whether you're whether you're part of the Facebook, <clears throat> excuse me, the Facebook community, um, if if you listen to this podcast in any regard, you know, in 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 whatever form that you may come across it or listen to it, um, we would we would enjoy hearing feedback. Okay, uh, we are open to suggestions. We are, you know, what's working, what's not working, um, too much of this, too little of that. You know what I mean? Like, what's with beaches? You know, get less sand. You know, like what's with uh, islands? Get more land. Yeah, I don't. I don't fucking know, dude. Like, you know, it's one of those things where, yes, we have we kind of have a program that we run here, but we want to hear from you guys. Like, what part of our program is working for you, and what other stuff would you guys like to see? We run fucking programs here. All right, well, like, well, hang on, so, we have a live review before we go. Oh, sweet. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's but see, like that's part of that's part of how we can fucking fix <laughs> fix ourselves. You know what I mean? So that we can we can act we, we can reach out and reach you know re reach a bigger re reach a bigger uh, percentage of the community. You know, and yeah. especially the communities that we are we are mainly aiming at, which would be you know uh, either veteran or ver you know supporters or families of veterans that are within the gaming community. Okay, oh, we know, yeah. we know you guys are out there. We're we're just trying to reach out to you guys. So if you in, if you're enjoying it, if you're not enjoying it, if there's stuff that you think is great, if there's stuff that you think can be tweaked and may, maybe made a little bit better, hit us the fuck up. Fucking say something, all right? Because if you ain't saying nothing, we're just gonna keep fucking rambling. And my 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 goddess my goddess and my queen is gonna keep telling me that we fucking suck, all right? So like so <laughs> like we need to hear from you guys. So when you have when you have a chance, when you have time, you know, send us a message. We we, we happily accept it. You know, guys, it's yep. fun. It's fun. It, this is fun, and this is why we do this because we have fun. Absolutely. Right? Well, guys, so remember formation, um, white socks. Um, oh no, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! I know you're gonna catch me dead wearing white socks on me. As soon as they fucking changed that rule, dude, I was all set. I don't black even own socks. A pair of black socks. I, I, I don't even own a pair of white socks. Remember, guys. Anymore. Yeah, I don't think I bought a pair of white socks and fucking since. Ever? Right before I got out of the fucking army, because the only, they changed they changed the black socks right after I got my fucking DD two fourteen. The only time in my life I've ever ever had to wear fucking like like goddamn chonies, you know, like fucking like it was it was because I fucking grew up in the eighties. Okay, like as a as a child, as soon as as soon as I was able to buy boxers, I bought boxers. Okay, okay, we wear black socks here. All right, we're a little bit more professional. Black socks, Sorry, boxers, John. boxers or boxer briefs, your choice. Uh, uh, tan t-shirt, robe, and uh, uh, a coolie. Yeah, cup of cup of coffee, maybe with a little bit of whiskey in it. You know, like maybe if you're into a uh, Sunday breakfast beer from freaking Ukraine. Yeah. Oh yeah, Obolon, John. This is called Obolon. This was the uh, the beer of choice again this week. So Obolon, the Obolon. first, the first Ukrainian beer. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We love you. See you next week. Love you guys.